everyone. Welcome back. It's episode 24 now. I'm just uh, chilling in my, my mob trap. I stand right here because that's the skeleton spawners over there, the spider spawners over there, and they both spawn when I'm standing here. So I couldn't get it to work out the way I wanted to. Like I wanted originally for the skeletons to be brought up right here and for the spiders to be brought up right here, <clears throat> but the spiders are too stupid to just climb up a few blocks to get over here. Um, and the skeletons like to shoot me. So... <laughs> It got a little difficult. So, as of right now, I just have the... And probably how it's gonna be forever. Um, unless I can find a way to make the spiders move the way I want them to. I'm just gonna have it like this, where the spiders come over. And they all die there. And then a bunch of spiders always group up over in this corner. And uh, they kind of just lump together. And uh, become one giant spider. One very loud giant spider. And then picking up experience orbs always lags me. At least with the spiders, because they all go flying, so I have to go get them all at once. But the sp with the skeletons, it's not so much of a problem, because they all get put right here. So I get the experienced orbs as they drop them, um, including the items, too. The skeleton spawner is much nicer than the spider spawner. Um... Because, like I said, they all get dropped right there. There's a slime around here. Um, so I don't have to go worrying about them hitting me or trying to kill me or whatever. Okay, there's a slime somewhere. Is it... I don't know where it is. Found it. <laughs> I lit this thing up because uh, I had it dark for a while, thinking, oh, you know, maybe I'll get some creepers in here. And I did. But I also got a crap ton of everything else, so <laughs> I decided against keeping it. Um, I might just keep it because it does spawn slimes, so that's cool. Um, skeleton spawner's pretty simple. Um, I'm surprised it spawned anything. Oh, maybe he just never got in. Um, maybe it just took him a while to get there. I'm going to see if I can't get inside it. It shouldn't cause any problems because they shouldn't spawn at all because I'm too far down. Yeah, see, it's dark. Um, I put fences here because the water acts like the fence is one block high, but the fences are actually one and a half blocks high. So when the mobs hit the ground, they um, <coughs> the, the most water they can go through is half a block, which isn't enough to slow them down and keep them from taking damage because I was having problems with the skeletons not taking damage, so... Um, and then they just come down here and get pushed into there. Um, yeah. I want to make sure they fit. I wonder if that'll help, because I, I, I usually, I come over and sk kill skeletons, and then um, I kill all the ones in there, and then one or two drop back down. So, yeah. <coughs> so that's that. Oops. I had that there so I could actually... Um, get crits on them so that they would die faster because they weren't low enough, but um, now they're fine, so I suppose I can take that out. Yeah, I just got this little area so I can stab at their feet so they can't shoot me. Um, do any of you guys think this is cheating? Because I just read a post on the forums about people thinking that mob traps are cheating, and I mean, it's not like this was easy, and it's still not easy. Even then, I can't get it to work the way I want to, but um... I don't know. Because, like, there were some good arguments for it and some good arguments against it, I guess. Um, but, because, like, the arguments for having mob traps is, like, well, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. It's pretty difficult to make a trap that works nice. And the spawners um, <coughs> are in the game. It's like, they, you know what I mean? They were put there, and if they didn't want them to be able to do that, they'd take the spawners and make it so that the mobs that come from the spawners don't give experience, but they do, so, you know, I mean, I don't know, I feel like it's no different than just camping out at a spawner. Um, I mean, which people might still say is cheating, but really, that's, that especially, I feel, is really stretching it, because it's like, it's a spawner, it spawns mobs, that's what it does. If they didn't want infinite mobs coming out of it, they wouldn't have put it in the game. Um, I mean, granted, it wasn't in a long time before experience was, so, but, I don't know, um, I don't feel like it's cheating, because I feel like 
that's as much cheating as like making an automated minecart station where you just push a button and the cart comes out sends you on your merry way um, I mean it's it takes a bit a lot of effort to make something like that um, you gotta know how you have to have the right resources for it and you know what I mean um, and it's not like I'm getting well I am getting infinite re resources I guess you could say from the mob traps but um, the only things I'm really benefiting from that is I've got wool which is like whoop de doo I could get infinite wool from sheep as well I just don't um, and I've got the arrows which are not normally infinite because you'd need flint for them to craft which isn't infinite I mean gravel's very abundant but it takes forever to get flint out of it although if you use fortune on gravel uh, like a, a pick with fortune on it on gravel then I believe it gives you flint more often um, I think it was fortune maybe that was something else I haven't really harvested anything from these farms lately because uh, I have no need for uh, any of those things um, I still haven't done any work on this yet I've pretty much just been getting experience I've got a nice sword here with sharpness 4 and fire aspect 2 um, because uh, I was like, you know, I, I used up my diamond sword and I was like, uh, eh, I've got 50 levels here, so let's enchant it. And I, why did I do that? Um, so I, I got a level 45 enchantment and got that, so that's cool. And I put my, uh, goggles on just because I felt like it. I made the skin by myself, so, yeah, I think it's cool. I, when I put on the goggles, I was like, I need to put a, make a version of this with the goggles down just for fun. So I did. Which is cool, because I forget how it looks with armor on. So I'll go do that. I think it looks pretty cool with the... If it, if I'm remembering it properly, then it looks pretty cool with armor on. But um, if I'm not, then... Sue me, I guess. <laughs> Mostly I just want to try out the helmet, but I, I do need to make myself a full set of armor anyway. Because uh, it's getting pretty annoying to go down to that mob trap with the spiders. Because... They do hit me a lot when I when I do that, especially when I run in to gather all the stuff. Um, yeah, see, look, it fits like perfectly around my goggles, so I think that's cool. And it actually fits perfectly around my ears too, like the helmet curves down, right where my ears are. So, I think it's cool. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I needed some armor anyway because those spiders they knock you back a lot. And if you get in that doorway, like, the doorway looks like this, right? But if you get within, like, this close, um, as long as any part of you is in the... Like, you can see the distance between my crosshair and the wall um, behind me. That's about how big my character is. So if I'm within, like, that distance of this block here, the spiders can hit me through it. Unless they're like this, in which case they can't, because I can't get within that space there, and I can still hit them. But that just makes it annoying because I have to take it down every time I want to walk in. and um, Yeah. So, uh, I, I needed some armor for that. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, I haven't gotten much accomplished since I did the skeleton spawner. Um, again, I'd love to make the spiders come, like, find a way to get them to me so I don't have to go to them. But I don't know how I'm going to do that, so... Oh, and I did see a fixed version for the retract the retractable lighting stuff, which I might put in the mob spawners now, um, that works when, since they've changed glowstone to a uh, transparent block. Because, uh, yeah. And if any of you were wondering why I was using my pick to get them in the nether, it's because they used to be, like, they used to be like glass, where there wasn't a, a thing that you could use to break them. But then when they changed it to make it so that they drop more and the crafting recipe is smaller, um they changed it to a block type, so you had to use a pick to get it. I mean, to a, a stone type block. And uh, you had to use a pick to get to it, but then they changed it back, so now it's just breaking with your fist. Um, let's see. I, I really want to do ceiling lighting here, but I might just do, like, every three blocks have a... or every fourth block, I suppose. I don't know. Um... I, I want to do it in the ceiling. I really do, just because I think that looks cooler. Like, you know, actual lighting. <laughs> um, 
don't know. It really depends, because this room is just weird. Like, I could, again, I still haven't brought this in one, which I, I might just do so I can do the ceiling nice. Um, and like I said, that would work out nicely for the ceiling up here, too. I mean, to the, for the floor up here, too. And then I'll have some nice floor lighting up here in my workroom. Oh, right, I was thinking about just doing um, a ring around that just goes straight glowstone all the way over to here, and then around and around. Um, because that way I could put, like, chests and stuff up against the wall, and then, uh, or even in the wall if I want to, and then the lighting would be perfectly fine in the middle, and then have just, like, a nice little seating area or something over by the window. I don't know. Anyway, I gotta go. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll try to get something more interesting done next time. Bye.